Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We are back with another video today. It is just me, but if you are new here, we are High Season, a social media agency that helps business owners, uh, yeah. entrepreneurs, and marketers yep. step their social media game up and break the algorithm. There you go, see, it's Tiff's line, I don't know it. <laughs> We've only done second. over a hundred videos, but know, that's fine. It's like, you know, you get in that rhythm, you know. <laughs> so guys, today we're going to be talking about three more ways to get music on your Instagram Reels. So you may have seen our last video, which will pop just here, about how to get music on Reels, because that was just a, a common question. So the trick that we had is a, was a little bit of a workaround to the glitch. That particular trick still works for some people, but we have had a fair amount of comments from people saying that it hasn't been working for them. So I've been replying individually to every single comment, <laughs> telling them different workarounds, and it kind of was getting a bit exhausting, so we thought, you know what, let's just do a uh, another video that explains these new workarounds so that you can make sure you're using Reels with music. So, the first way to get music on your Reels is to change to a creator account. Now, most of the people commenting were using business accounts primarily, and business accounts and Reels and the music licensing, that was where the issue arose. When we first made the last video, that hadn't really come out and it wasn't really a thing yet over the last I want to say a few weeks to a month or so the actual licensing agreement issue with business accounts and Instagram reels has sort of come to light a bit more so the number one way we were suggesting to get around it was to change to a creator account so a creator account is just the other alternative to a business account I think it was brought in at the end of 2019 from memory we can do a whole other video on that if you like but the main thing that if you want to change to a creator account you're going to lose the ability for auto posting. If you use a third party app like uh, Later, Sprout, any of those type of things, you won't be able to auto post onto your creator account. But that's the main thing. So just be aware of that and maybe look into it. But once again, shoot us a comment below if you'd like us to go into more detail about the, the parallels between the two or the differences. So what you can do, you can change to a creator account. Now the main thing, you do have to wait three days. Why? That's just how Instagram does it. When you change from a business to a creator account, after three days, the creator abilities to use and access those licensed songs kicks in and then you're basically back to normal. That seems to be the number one fix that works for almost everybody. So that one I would recommend to try first as long as you're okay with not having the ability to auto post anymore. So keep that one in mind. I would definitely say try that first and foremost. It's going to be the least hassle, super simple and you can just you know operate business as usual. The second way to use music in your Instagram Reels is to use royalty-free music. Now, there are websites, we actually have a link in our description to one called Epidemic Sounds. We are huge on that one. We have used it on High Season, we use it on our other channels, and basically you pay to access music, and you can use it not only on uh, YouTube, but you can use it across all channels that are attached to that specific brand which is very, very handy. You pay once and you can use it across everything. I believe it's uh, like forever. So that's good to know, they'll never take it down. Now this only works if you're going to pre-produce your video. So you need to be making the videos in Final Cut, Adobe Premiere, even on the phone, like an InShot or some sort of third-party app where you can edit the videos and then slide in the music. That is definitely key. There are other royalty-free music sites or different places you can access it to. The YouTube Music Library. Yeah, they used it for a client recently. And I just was like, oh, I need something that's like a cool, chill vibe. And I pulled it right from the YouTube Music Library. And no issues with any copyright or anything like that. Right. So these ones are already pre-vetted and pre-cleared. So you are good to go with any of those songs. You're never going to be taken down. So you're able to do that. Because that's the main thing you want here. You don't want to be taken down if you're going to be using music when you're pre-producing a video. So give that a try, either of those ones. We love Epidemic Sounds because they are professional producers and musicians that make the music. Some of them are instrumental, some of them have lyrics. They give you a lot of variety and we really enjoy that. So um, definitely worth checking out, but otherwise YouTube's pretty easy. They make it super simple. So that is another way to do it. The third way to access music via Reels is a bit of a tricky workaround, hence the phone here. So basically what you can do if you go to another account that have used music on Reels, so we're going to go to Later. We have worked with them before. Maybe check out that video up there. <laughs> Shout out to Later, good people. So if we go to this one here, they use an Instagram Reel. So what you can do is tap on that Reel and see at the top here, it's saying saved already. 
basically you can save that song to your music library to use later. And there's just a little button at the bottom saying use audio and then it pulls it right in. So then you can either take a video, look at these beautiful plants here, and it'll play the song and uh, that will work from there. Alternatively, you can upload a video and it'll put the song right at the top. So that is a, another fantastic workaround. It's a little bit more work. You could probably go through a bunch of reels and save them to your library. The only thing we're not entirely sure about is will that come back to haunt you later? We don't know yet. The ability for saving music is there. So we feel like it should be okay. Because it seems a little workaroundy, I'm not entirely confident. So I, I would prefer that you guys would maybe use the first two to be safe, because those two are definitely no, no problem at all. This, it works. So. But maybe one day Instagram might be like, oh, we don't like that you do this. But look, later is a business account that's they have able to, to use things. So it just shows how it just differs per account. Exactly, and when we found later that they're using you know, licensed music on their business account, and they have to be a business account because their program, their software, that's their entire business, I can only auto post the business accounts and I imagine they would use you know, their own software to run their own social media. So it's a weird world right now. I just want to make it really clear that this is, it's super wishy-washy. They haven't really made anything abundantly clear. This, you know, some workarounds work for some people, some don't. It's, it's super strange. So that's why the first two, changing to a creator account and waiting the three days, please remember to wait the three days and don't you know, be like, oh, it doesn't work because people were coming back to us saying it doesn't work, but it was the same day they were commenting. So you do have to wait. And then the epidemic sounds or the royalty free music 100% worth. We've been using royalty free music for years on our YouTube. And since Reels have been around, we've been using epidemic sounds personally. And that works beautifully. No problem across all the social. And we use those same instrumentals on our YouTube video because they're all pre cleared. So give those a try. If you have any additional questions, chuck them in the comments. We'll, I'll definitely get back to you. Or any other methods to help other people out. Like maybe you're watching this video and you found something that's been working for you. So at least drop it in the comments so it can help yeah. other people out too. If there's something we missed, like this is the three and you know, maybe there's gonna be more and we'll just keep making more videos if there's more ways to do it. So guys, that is it today. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, smash the thumbs up. I'm gonna put this down. Hit subscribe below, hit the notification bell so you know when the new videos drop. Follow us on social media everywhere at High Season Co. Check out the website and the blog, highseasonco.com. That is it, we'll see you in the next video. Peace.